The story of No Place Like Home is about Dorothy on a farm and there is a pending apocalypse coming. So her and her farm hands run into their family storm shelter to try to escape from the pending attack. Let's call it a, a new spin on an old tale. Unfortunately, in this version, there's a bit of a zombie situation for poor Dorothy. Essentially, it's, it's about the idea of whether you can actually go home again. I've always been interested in developing my own property and content. I heard about EBM and I thought it would be a perfect fit. The EBM program is where you learn all aspects of production in various platforms throughout the entertainment industry. For myself, I was a US TV publicist in the States for about nine years, and I, I hated my job. I never really got into what I really wanted to do in TV, which is produce. Compendium is a series of short genre films that are based on uh, classic literature, but with the student's own fantastical flavor, twist. It's a chance to operate at a higher level. They're dealing with higher-end equipment, they're dealing with fight sequences, things that you don't normally associate with student filmmaking. Yeah. Compendium, to me, is one of the main reasons why I actually came to Vancouver Film School. It was a production where you actually got to work with all different departments and learn what it is to actually make a production from start to finish. It's an absolutely mammoth undertaking, but that's what makes it such a unique and valuable experience for the EBM producers. So it starts with the entertainment business management team coming up with a concept and together they all pitch this idea and generally it's based on works that are in the public domain. Well, we had three different groups that pitched three different ideas. The idea that actually one is uh, Wizard of Oz. Being a hardcore horror fan, I wanted to do something dark. And I came across The Wonderful World of Oz by Frank Baum. I looked into the story where the Scarecrow and Tin Man were joining Dorothy to find their heart and brain. I thought that's a great mashup of zombies and The Wizard of Oz. So given that very twisted and dark element to the fantastic world of Oz, they just make it something more entertaining than the original property. So once they've come up with the concept, it, it comes down to selecting scripts. Maya actually had an idea for this great story, so she kind of outlined it out, and then we found a writer that our director had worked with before, and we were able to make that kind of happen together. I like having room to play around and with, a, with, a, with a prompts like Zombie Oz. There's so many different routes you can go with it. The producers and I felt that we really wanted to go back to the original texts. Uh, some of the earliest illustrations of Dorothy is, is she's around an eight or a nine year old girl. So casting for that was interesting. We saw a lot of very talented little girls, but Alicia Newton, uh, something about her just, just resonated. She was literally the very first child actor that we saw come in and we knew right then and there, we're like, we could just stop right now. She's fantastic. As for the farmhands, we've got a collection of BFS's finest alumni. Well, I worked with Nick on The Little Mermaid. When I heard he was doing Zombies of Oz, when that was, I heard that was in a compendium, I was like, Zombies? <laughs> it was awesome to uh, see each uh, actor in VFS and the VFS alumni and auditioning for the characters and also each one auditioning as a zombie, which was an awesome time. <laughs> well, what attracted me to this project was uh, doing the script to budgeting, getting wardrobe ready, getting makeup ready, getting food budget, everything. It gave me a hands-on opportunity to actually get involved in learning how to produce an actual film. The Compendium Project's just, they're a step above. It's as professional as you can be without being out in the industry. Like, it's amazing, and the product is insane. We have a tremendous amount of support from the staff mentors and from their curriculum to help them navigate all these new challenges. But at the end of the day, it is the responsibility of the EBM producers to be accountable to the entire crew for the outcome. It was a very nerve-wracking experience to work with over 50 creative professionals, but they were very experienced in their own field, and we collaborated really well. It was a classic filmmaking day where you, you almost don't even remember the morning seems like it was so far ago. But we had a whole different uh, character thing going on, different wardrobe, and we shot that first thing this morning. We were very lucky with Jesse, our set designer, who found a way to craft just asylum walls out of two flats and made it look like you were actually in an asylum. It was amazing yeah, and it was so fun. realistic. Yeah. So you get that first scene done and you think, oh, we're almost done. And then we start putting on these awesome uh, costumes and 
uh, then slowly but surely deteriorating. This is my first zombie makeup. So I wasn't expecting it to be this crazy. It took like about one hour to get it on and I look at myself in the mirror like <gasps> And they always say, you know, not to work with children or animals, but Alicia, she was amazing. <laughs> it was a mixture of feeling, having seen her acting like so well, like her performance is like bringing tears. I was like, cry more, you know, scream more. <laughs> Yeah, I was enjoying it. <laughs> we were so lucky with our director, Nick. I mean, he, had, he has done Compendium before, but it wasn't even that. He was just so willing and open to listen to our ideas. He loved both genres, zombies and The Wizard of Oz. It makes everything so much easier. You know what, cut, that's amazing. So he was magic. We got to go to Oz for a day and throw zombies into the mix. And uh, I can't imagine a better combination. This, this was awesome. This is my first companion, so I've never worked on one before, so I didn't know really how it went or what the EBM students were like, but every everything about this experience was, there was, not, there was nothing bad about no, it. No, it doesn't feel like have, a student I, production. No. Uh, by the time they reach compendium, they are so prepared uh, knowing, you know, exactly what needs to be done to create a top-notch film production uh, on a shoestring budget. I think what excites me the most about compendium are the possibilities of where they can go next. And now that we're actually in the end of the post-production phase, just about, we're gonna start working now more on our marketing and trying to get the film into festivals. It has a potential to develop into a bigger property. It can transfer into comics, go transmedia. We can develop a merchandising um, based on our IP. But yeah, UBM students, that program is churning out people who know what they're doing and be probably some of the better producers out there. Yeah, if, they, if, they're, if they're leaving here knowing what they're doing like they did here, then they got it on lockdown. Like I always knew I wanted to produce. UBM and the class has helped prepare me for today, and I actually feel like now that after this, I can go out and you know, apply and be confident enough to say, look, I can do this. I want to do this for a living.